Hello and welcome to the Mass Tort Update. A jury determined that Janssen Pharmaceutical violated the South Carolina Unfair Trade Practices Act in the marketing of the drug Risperdal. Phase two will try damages which some people believe could be in the billions. And bed bugs were denied mass tort status in New York. A New York State judge tossed a Fox News worker's premises case over a bed bug bite she got while at the office. No more cases like that. The Depew hip implant cases were sent by the New Jersey Supreme Court to Judge Martinotti in Bergen County for central case management. And J.P. Morgan and company agreed to pay $56 million to approximately 6,000 active duty military members who were overcharged on their mortgages and for other violations. A Florida state judge allowed a class action to proceed claiming Whole Foods sold organic frozen vegetables harvested by prisoners in a polluted area of China. Doesn't sound so wholesome to me. And another blow to third-party payer claims. A Minnesota federal judge dismissed most of the third-party payer class action seeking reimbursement for the costs of replacing faulty pacemaker defibrillator claims against Medtronic as preempted by federal law. BP filed its own $40 billion lawsuit against Transocean, blaming the company for the Gulf of Mexico rig blowout that occurred last year. New Jersey's highest court refused to hear an appeal from ExxonMobil Corporation, which sought to reverse a $7 million verdict in favor of a woman who said she developed mesothelioma from her husband's clothing. Prosecutors asked a Maryland federal judge to force a GlaxoSmithKline vice president to testify in a criminal case against a former GlaxoSmithKline attorney accused of lying to health regulators about the marketing of the antidepressant drug Wellbutrin. In the first of what some people think will spawn a number of similar lawsuits, four cast members of the 1970s sitcom Happy Days filed a lawsuit against CBS alleging the telephone giant cheated them out of millions of dollars in merchandising revenue, and those aren't happy days. According to three studies recently published, certain pesticides cause IQ deficits in children. Two medical studies found that women taking birth control pills, such as Yasmin and Yaz, could be at a higher risk for blood clots. And there were a lot of recalls this week. Disney tricycles were recalled over laceration hazards. Toyota recalled over 308,000 SUVs to fix airbag problems. It also recalled 51,000 trucks to fix driver shaft problems. The FDA issued warnings to manufacturers of hand sanitizing products for making unsupported claims about the bacteria fighting benefits of their products. Oh well, I guess I go back to water. And the FDA announced a recall of more than 7 million candles over fire prone candle holders under a product known as Chesapeake Bay Candle and Modern Light brand names. That's all and we'll see you next week.